zapisovano občinstvo. Leto je že na okoli in čas je za nov filharmonični festival baročne glasbe že osmi zapored. V veliko veselje nam je, da lahko na prvem in drugem koncertu gostimo odličnega italijanskega umetnika, dirigenta, skladatelja, pisatelja, slikarja, komika in flotista, še marsi kaj drugega, Federica Mario Sardelija. Maestro Sardeli, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Ljubljana for Thank the first you. time for you. Thank you. Welcome to Slovenian Philharmonic. We are very happy to have you here for two weeks. Me too, me too. Um, so in these two weeks we will do two programs with you, two different ones. Yes. How do you uh, how do you connect these two programs? Do they have a connection or it's two different? So uh, they are very different because uh, one is um, completely uh, dedicated to Vivaldi and Vivaldi rarities and something of very very new, very strange. And and the other one, the second one is um, consecrated to. The Sturm und Drang music, mm -hmm. so that means uh, the, the second half of the, the 18th century with this, this music very uh, full of passion, full of contrast. But the common point is that uh, the music of Vivaldi and all the music of the um, Sturm und Drang um, uh, authors uh, is connected by the, the same, um, the same uh, spirit of um, uh, full of contrast, uh, full of colors, full of passion. That's yeah. the, the, the common Yes, true. Yeah, in mm -hmm. our first concert, uh, to mention Vivaldi's Secrets, is uh, featuring a selection of his yeah, seldomly performed musical gems. Um, and Vivaldi is also one of your most important artistic muses, no? To yes, say. of course. Yeah. <coughs> um, could you please share with us in a few words um, how did his great musical heritage inspire you? And if you can tell us a few things, interesting insights or anecdotes about um, about the program, the Vivaldi program. So um, I, I'm uh, since I was very young, uh, 11 years old, I, I was uh, in love with this author, with with Antonio Vivaldi. Yes. I was uh, completely flashed from yes. from his music, and it it it, it remains till now of this uh, this passion for for his music. And I, during my, my life, during my research, I also, as conductor, but also as a scholar mm -hmm. in, in Vivaldi's music, I discover a lot of music, of new music. I have the, the chance of, to discover new music. And, and for instance, the two concerts that uh, we did uh, in the, with, uh, with you, yes. uh, are two concerts recently rediscovered and um, reconstructed. Exactly, yes. Yes, were written for... His, um, his pupil, Anna Maria, yeah. the violin, one of the most gifted uh, pupils mm -hmm. of Vivaldi. Mm -hmm. And he wrote for, for her a lot of music. And uh, six of these concerts uh, were completely lost. Wow. And now uh, they, they can sound again yes. after 300 years Oof. of silence. It's a very That's very special. Yeah, special it must thing. be uh, thrilling, no, to... <clears throat> to, to to bring them alive, to, to make them alive again and to bring mm. them to the audience. Yeah. It's yeah, incredible. Mm. Uh, so in our second concert, Unrest, mm. Uh, mm. we will have a wonderful chance to again rediscover the world of forgotten uh, but great music of classical period. For example, uh, Josef Martin Krauss is also known as the Swedish Mozart, yes. but not as well known as Mozart himself, no? no? Yeah, but um, how, how are they similar? So, um, Josef Martin Krauss is, uh, is a, a great composer, a, a very important composer. Yeah. Uh, Haydn told um, that uh, he was uh, one of the most important composer he, he, he never knows in, in his life. Wow. So, wow. When, uh, when he met uh, when Krauss, he, he, he recognized <laughs> in him uh, a, a, a great genius. But the, um, uh, the, the, the history is that uh, Krauss um, uh, traveled uh, to um, Swedish yes. and then uh, he remained um, a little bit far from this, uh, the, the center of the music that right. was uh, uh, Germany, Italy yes, and uh, yes. especially um, Austria. Austria yeah. And so that the, the reason because now is, uh, is less, uh, is less um, uh, known. known. Mm. But I, I like so much his music, so I, I, I want to uh, 
to, to show to the audience yes, how course. is great, great this composer. Mm -hmm. And I, I put every time in, in my concert, when I, I do Mozart or Haydn, I put every time a, a, a small piece of yeah. uh, Klaus and please let let, yeah. let know okay. how much is great this composer. Yeah, fantastic. Mm. It's also interesting that uh, because they already sort of um, compare them, Mozart and, and, and Klaus, no? they mm. compare them in a way. And um, it's, it's interesting that they also died very uh, at the similar age yes. one 35 36 that yes. was it's very interesting they're completely um uh, contemporary yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Um, and we have another composer who died very young, very young unfortunately only 26 years old like um pergolesi the yes. same age of pergolesi Sa same age. 26 is very same age uh, anton very young. yes uh, anton fields uh, german composer and is it true that he that he died from eating spiders? That's the legend, but maybe maybe true is not completely sure. Mm. But he was a very strange man. <laughs> <laughs> Surely, if he, we yeah. we listen, uh, we heard his music. That uh, is a, a, a man um, full of passion, full of contrast, mm. and uh, a very strange uh, mind. Yeah, yes, but very gifted. Very gifted. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, he left that. He left us with many, many pieces. But yeah, yes. Um, what is strange that in his um, very short life, mm. he um, published a lot of music. Yeah. Publishing music in uh, 18th century um, um, is a, is a very important. Only important composer can publish because uh, pu published music needs money, needs uh, yes. to be to be. Of course, um, yeah. Famous, yeah. otherwise uh, yeah. a printmaker don't don't do a, the, the, an edition of your music. Mm. So what, he was um, he was famous in his time, and now we forgot. But I want to. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, so the music of Henry Josef Frigel is also also mm -hmm. forgotten. Why yes. do you think uh, is that? But, but because um, uh, Riegel has yes. um, uh, Fils yes. and a little bit of also Kraus, um, um, in that, um, in that um, kind of style, that was um, not the winning style of the mm. moment. During the, the years uh, 50, 50, 50 or 60 of the 18th century, mm. the, the most important style was the Mannheim Schule. Yes. yes. In which style then uh, write also Mozart on Haydn, and yeah. that the winning style of the of the yes. was of the time. The other style, the Sturm und Drang, mm -hmm. with full of contrast, full of um, uh, humoral spots, mm -hmm. uh, was um, was um, in minority in that yeah. time. That's the, the the reason because also at, at our time uh, are a little bit forgotten this. Authors. Mm. Now, when you say humor, we know that you are also a oh. comedian, no? <laughs> um, so, uh, how do you link your musical endeavors with the world of comedy? <sighs> the world of comedy? Yeah. <laughs> is, is, is there a connection? And, um... Some a composition of our program, mm. um, maybe, yep. are very similar to comedy. And others are very similar to tragedy. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> the yeah. overture of Kraus yes. to Olympia is a tragedy. It's completely uh, uh, tragic from the beginning to the end. And some um, symphonies, as uh, the miracle of Handel, uh, yeah. Handel uh, Haydn, Haydn, excuse me, yeah, yeah, yeah. is a is a very good comedy mm. with contrast, with uh, humor. Yes. Uh, mm, yeah. Mm. Uh, how about we know that. Uh, Friedrich the Great, the, the, the king oh. of Prussia, for example. He, we know that his passion was music, but maybe it's not largely known that he was a flute virtuoso and a composer also. Yes, composer also. Yes. He, he was uh, completely uh, in love with music and uh, he loves the, 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 to, to play the flute since he was very young. Uh, against the the will uh, of his father, there was yes, uh, of course. No, yeah, mm. he, he take his flute and he, yeah. he broke it and uh, into the into the fire every time he he, he discovered his his son was playing the flute. 
but uh, he, he was in completely in love with music. He, comp mm. he composed a, a something like a 300 sonatas for flute and basso continuo, 300. Wow. Yeah, enormous uh, repertoire right. and also uh, uh, four symphonies mm -hmm. yeah. and some concert for flute and uh, strings mm -hmm. but this uh, symphony is very interesting because uh, is 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 made from the for the for the opera il re pastore a famous libretto yes. of um, of metastasio in mm -hmm. that time and um, he, he he was uh, the composer only of the symphony not of the opera but this, op this uh, symphony is uh, practically perfect. Is when uh, one uh, heard this symphony without knowing that is uh, from uh, a king, it seems uh, it seems uh, um, Graun or mm. Quanz or mm -hmm. another um, professional composer. Yes, yes. Because it, it was very very gifted also. Oh, that's that's mm. really amazing, Maestro Sardili. Thank you very much for your insights. We are very much looking forward for the already now this first week. The, the concert is in two days and then the second week. So um, thank you for being with us and uh, looking forward to the concerts. Thank, thank you, you to you. I will do a ping. Elegant. Elegant. Wow. Too.